welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Stangroom and this is Conquer Crochet. So if you're watching this in sort of real time on the day of release or a couple of days afterwards, in the UK we've just come to the end of Mental Health Awareness Week. So this week I wanted to do a book review uh, the sort of based around mental health and how we can use crochet to manage our mental health. So the book I want to talk about today is Mindful Crochet by Emma Leith. Now most of us are aware that crochet can really help us with our mental health. It helps us being mindful and in the moment. The repetitiveness of stitches can actually help to slow down your heart rate, which can help with your serotonin and the finishing of a product uh, that can help with the dopamine levels, all of which help to give us a little bit of a boost to help us see things in a bit more of a, a brighter, sunnier way. Now, I appreciate crochet cannot help with every mental health. There are times and situations where you are going to need to speak to a doctor and if you feel like you need to talk to someone, please go and talk to your GP or ring the Samaritans if things are getting really serious. So this book, Mindful Crochet, 35 crochet projects just to help you be in the moment. Now Emma does have another book which is Colourful Crochet and I will put a link to that one and this one in the descriptions below. And they're also in my Amazon shop if you want to have a little look there under crochet patterns and crochet pattern books, I think it is. What I like is that as well as being bright and colourful, the projects are kind of quite manageable, something that you could do in a day or you know, make something, I've got a couple of hours, I've got half an hour, or something you want to take with you because you're going on a car journey but you don't want to take a massive blanket with you, you just want a little project to do on the way. This book is perfect for that. So as I was saying, you don't need to have things in the same colour as in a book. If a pattern is in bright pink and you want something in blue or black or green or grey, then you make it in that colour. You make it in the colour you want, the colour that's going to make you happy that you're going to use and wear. So I love the mandala pattern in this book, the mandala in a hoop. Um, the colours, although I think they're fabulous, don't really go with my decor and if I actually want to make something for me, for me to use, then I needed to do something in the colours that suited me and my personality. So I decided to make the mandala hoop using white, grey, pink and green. And I've used a metal hoop. In the book they used a wooden hoop, but I wanted a metal one because again that went with the decor of having things in silver. I'll put a link to the hoop that I use. This is a 30 centimetre diameter hoop. I'll put a link to that in the descriptions in my Amazon shop so you can go and have a look there. So this was a really simple pattern. I think had I focused on it completely I would have had it done in a morning. Um, I was distracted so because I, I did given myself a mindful day and my only aim for that day was to make this. Um, but when you're sitting there and you're you know, just crocheting, and I didn't have the television on, didn't have an audio book on, I just was in silence, just me and my thoughts. Now, if you want to be distracted by audio books or music, then that's entirely up to you. But I've got a lot of thinking I want to do and things I want to try and get in place in my head. So I just wanted the space, but without actually thinking. So I was thinking about this, but every now and then a thought would pop into my head. And I'd put the project down and I'd Google something or I'd make a note or just write it down and then pick it back up again and carry on. So it actually took me a day rather than half a day, but I think it would be easy to do, especially if you're a fairly quick crochet, you could knock one of these out in a day. Not too many difficult stitches in this one. You've got a popcorn stitch, which is explained in the book, and I'll put a link in the description to my popcorn stitch video. Uh, there's a v-stitch there, there's sort of sh shells going around, there's lots of chaining so you can add things to it. And I was thinking about my Sophie's Universe and I hadn't made a mandala before I started the Sophie's Universe. And actually I think if I had I might have found the beginning of that pattern a little easier to follow had I made some mandalas first. So just a little side tip there that you might want to try.
So the patterns in this book are written in UK terminology. Um, there were a couple of things where I thought, what's a PM? I've never heard of a PM and I was about to go into panic mode and then it said C page whatever at the end of the book and there was an abbreviation at the end. So PM was place your marker, place your stitch marker and I, I hadn't actually seen that written down in a pattern before. So that was something new to me. I don't think I've seen it before or since. So whether that's something unique to Emma or maybe it's the way she learned to do um, right crochet patterns, I don't know. But the answers were there. So I wasn't sort of sitting there thinking, oh, that's it, can't do it because I don't know what the answer is. You know, the answer was at the back of the book. So there's different themes in the book. So you've got colour therapy, you have touch and texture, mindful meditation, caring and sharing, so things you might want to make as gifts. There are things for the summer, there are Christmas decorations in here, there are things for you, things you might want to gift. And one of the things I think when you're trying to do sort of mindful crochet, don't pressurise yourself into, I've got to make this, I have to make it for a gift and the birthday's tomorrow and I have to do it now because that's just pressurise and that's not making something mindful that's giving yourself extra headache so start off if you're wanting to do this for your own mental health do it in your own time at your own pace if you don't get it finished like I didn't with my mandala it wasn't done in half a day it was done in a day but I didn't berate myself for not getting it done in half a day no, it was my project, it didn't matter if it didn't get finished, there was no deadline, I just enjoyed it. So each project also has a little mindfulness tip to do with each of the projects. So on the mandala one it says, Mindfulness. Working on this mandala hoop will draw your attention away from the worries and stresses of life. As your mind emerges with your hands, you turn your focus towards the pattern and stitches. Take each round slowly. And each pattern has one of those, just to sort of think about, you know, maybe it's focusing on the colour or focusing on the counting of stitches. You know, when you're counting, you can't think about anything else. You can't have a conversation with someone else either. But you can't be thinking about too much else because you'll just lose where you are and then get cross with yourself and have to frog your project. So nice little tips in there for how you can make things more mindfulness, what you should focus on whilst you're making the pattern. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. This is a lovely book. I highly recommend it. As I said, it's in my Amazon shop front link, which is in the descriptions below. If you have any tips that would help other people about how you can be more mindful with your crochet and other mental health benefits that you can get from crochet, please, please pop them in the comments below for other people to read and to maybe get some value out of so that they can help themselves and their own mental health through crochet. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. I will pop two videos on screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!